what is the reason for not able to see jesus as your god welcome all of you to this video today we are going to discuss about an important matter which is prevailing in the society all over the world it's a very important question to be solved to be answered that question is standing still today in front of the global community what is that question that question is what is the reason for not able to see jesus as god question is this what is the reason for not able to see jesus as god there are number of reasons we can say among them we can discuss some important reasons first one is man made gods man made gods are many crores in the world god created man and all the things of the world everything is created by god and the man made gods these man made things are considered as gods and many millions of people are worshiping these man made gods as their gods you must remember there is only one god as you have only one mother the earth and sky all the creations all the things of this world is created by only one god and not many gods or crores of gods of the man made gods of the world you should understand the reality first there is only one god you should search and find out which is that only living one only one god who is living god who is the original god who is the real god of this world who created the whole universe unless you search and find out the true living god of this world who created whole universe you cannot find him first reason is man made gods because of all these man made gods made by the man in the world in different forms people are worshiping them thinking that they are gods they do not know what is the those things what is the uh, capacity and ability of these man made gods they do not know whether they are living or not they do not know these things are non living things without knowing the reality of these gods people are worshiping ignorance is the main point main thing behind the people behind the people so a large number of people large number large number of people are worshiping man made gods in the world and a group of people they think that they think that jesus is only a foreign god many people think that think that way jesus is only a foreign god and so that we don't want to worship him he is not the living god he is not the true god what is there for a foreign god to worship 
we have lot of gods we have millions of gods and crores of gods in our land why should we worship a foreign god when we have crores and crores of gods in our land in our country they justify the justify the matter in this way and they worship man made gods in the world they do not know that is their stupidity without understanding the reality because of their ignorance they believe whatever gods they have they are the gods they are the real gods and they worship them worship them other group of people of the world they think that uh, jesus is only a prophet because they have a prophet they have a prophet that prophet has told had told them that jesus is only a prophet and that prophet has made a god that is the real god only one god in that way he had spread the news everywhere in the world among a group of people of the world that is why a, a group of people which follows that prophet believes that what that prophet had said that is the reality and they follow that prophet his words his methodology his ideas his concepts and they live according to the ideology um spread by that uh, prophet in the world this is another reason for not accepting jesus as their god fourth one is evil spirit of the satan see there are two types of spirit spirits in the world one is holy spirit of god and evil spirit of the satan those who follow true god they will have holy spirit those who have holy spirit of god will accept god as jesus as their god and they will live their lives in the world according to the words of jesus in the world they will follow truth they will walk in the ways of righteousness whereas the spirit of evil the people who are led by the spirit of the evil they will not walk in the path of truth and justice they will not follow the words words of true god words of jesus they will walk on the ways of satan satan is a liar killer murderer deceiver cheat and destroyer in all these activities the people who are led by the evil spirit will involve those people who are led by the evil spirit will involve in all destroying activities killing murdering cheating deceiving lying all the activities of satan so we can see the two types of people in the world one is people of god another one is people of satan people of god are led by the holy spirit of god the people of people of satan are led by the evil spirit of the satan that is the difference so we can divide the people of this world into two groups one is a group of people which is led by the holy spirit of god and on the other side the other group is led by the evil spirit of the satan evil spirit of the satan see the fifth reason is desires of the world many millions of people of the world are living 
in the world with the desires of the world means they will not think about god they will not worry about god they will think about only worldly matters money wealth wealth creation money creation making whatever they wanted in the world they need luxurious life they need all other things of the world whatever is available whatever is available in the world all those things they need and they follow those things they go behind all the material welfare of the world they will not think about god they will not accept god as god they will not accept jesus as their god their god is money wealth worldly matters luxurious life welfare etc etc another reason is for not accepting jesus as their god is pleasures of the body pleasures of the body means the desires of the body they want they wanted to satisfy their desires of their body for which whatever they wanted to do they will do in the world to satisfy their needs desires of their flesh they will run after whatever they wanted to satisfy their needs physical needs whatever they wanted to do they will do that to satisfy their physical needs and desires go after women and they will do whatever they, they wanted in their life to satisfy their, their desires of their body these are the reasons for not accepting jesus as their god <clears throat> now we can see there are two there are two groups of people in the world one is one group is led by the holy spirit of god and other group is led by the evil spirit of the satan now we can see a reference from the bible what does the reference in the bible say about this matter 1 corinthians chapter 12 verse 3 what is given there we can see now there i shall read it now therefore i inform you that no one who is speaking by the spirit of god says jesus be cursed and no one can say jesus is lord except by the holy spirit apostle paul says here like this what is the meaning of that except holy spirit no one can say that jesus is the living god if you have holy spirit of god in you you will say jesus is the only living god of the world without the holy spirit of god no one can say that jesus is the living god of the world paul, paul apostle paul says clearly here so now you can identify whether you have holy spirit in your body in your life or not or if you are led by evil spirit of the satan if you are led by evil spirit of the satan you cannot accept jesus as your god you will say jesus is not god jesus is only man jesus is only a prophet he is not god who said jesus is a god is jesus is god that is false idea like because you are led by evil spirit of the satan if there is holy spirit in your body in you you will say you can say that jesus is the 
only living god of the world who created heaven and earth and everything of this universe without holy spirit of god you cannot say that jesus is the only living god of the world paul apostle apostle paul says here in this verse what is that once more i shall read it you can hear and you can understand what does he say the 1 corinthians chapter 12 verse 3 paul apostle apostle paul says the therefore i inform you that no one who is speaking by the spirit of god says jesus be cursed jesus be cursed no one will say and no one can say jesus is lord except by the holy spirit no one can say jesus is lord except by the holy spirit without the holy spirit of god no one can say that jesus is the lord god of the world those who are speaking by the holy spirit of god will never say jesus is cursed no no one will say if he is led by the spirit of god i finish my words here thank you for watching god bless you